Hello, welcome back to Mojo with Mike here. So many of you have been asking me about the go around button on the avionics panel. Of a while ago, I gave sort of what my avionics panel will look like in the Sling TSI, and there's been a few questions on certain buttons and functions on it. So I want to take the opportunity with this video to explain what that is and exactly what it does. All right, stay tuned. Here's a brand new Sling 2 that's still being put together. And if you look on the panel here, you see it has the Garmin G3X Touch. And this is what you all have been asking about, the Go Around button. Now for my non-pilot viewers who are here, uh, Go Around, usually it's a, it's a safety procedure that you're taught as a pilot. Uh, when you're coming into land and f for some reason maybe you're not aligned properly or there's an obstacle on the runway if you just don't feel right about that landing you're always the best decision is just to go around put the power back in uh, and then go around and try to do your approach once again that's simply what a go around is now what is this for this is supposed to help you through that process. So let's assume once again that you're coming into land in an airplane like this that's fully equipped with the glass panel, but more importantly also the autopilot. Okay, so what happens is if you don't feel right about that landing, so you, you, you come in, your, let's say first case scenario, your autopilot is actuated in some way, shape or form. You're still manually flying the airplane, but say you used your autopilot early on. But what happened is if you wanted to go around, you basically hit that button there. And normally when you use your autopilot, you have a flight director that shows up on your screen in front of you. And that flight director is like this two arrows and you point uh, to that direction to, for, for both of them to meet. And so when you put that go around button on, and let's, again, we're assuming that you're manually flying the, the airplane with the stick. So once you hit the go around button, that same flight director will show up on your screen. And then what you have to do is align it and then do your go around procedure. Now with the autopilot on, you're coming in to land on your approach and you hit that go around button, what happens is the autopilot takes over. Typically, you would have set your minimum altitude. So let's assume you set it to maybe 500 feet. And if you're already within that 500 feet envelope, the autopilot just takes over uh, and get the airplane aligned and then back to going around for you. But let's assume that you're not within your minimum uh, altitude what would happen is if you hit that go around button and the autopilot is activated, the autopilot will allow the airplane to get to the minimum altitude first, okay? And then it would get you on your go around. So that's basically how it works. That's the function of that button. In a way, it's an autopilot system that helps you out when you're coming into land and you want it to go around. Again, this is also a, a procedure that you would train or your instructor would teach you and they'll let you know like, hey, if anything or something doesn't look right with that landing, just go around. And so that button is there to assist you with that procedure. That's all it is. So that's pretty much it. If you have any more questions, uh, please leave in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe with notification bell on. A great way to support the channel, guys, is by becoming an MVP on mojogrip.net forward slash MVP. Thank you guys so much for all the support and I'll see you on the next video.